actually have one of these. I keep granola bars in it at home. $120. That's an expensive granola bar holder. Okay, guys, we're going to start this video. I'm on vacation. This is the day that I've been able to go out and go check out some shops. And I'm at Remember When Home Decor and New and Vintage. It says they have antiques. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna see what we can find in this lovely store. We're in Angola, Indiana. See right behind me, there is a um, cart of clearance. This looks like it's, this looks like it's all new things. There's some thimbles of the disciples. Hmm. Thimbles of the disciples and thimbles of that are forefathers. I like that. Mother's oats. Diamond pure honey. Can't tell if that's $18. That's cool. That's $40. This is $12. I like my advertising that's a cool it's a little cold a cool that's adorable that's on sale for fifty dollars that is so cute i really like it i have one of these i keep granola bars in it at home 120 dollars. that's an expensive granola bar holder now here are some of those um pin cushion ladies and i'm wanting to say this one looks like it's been you know, a marriage between the two. She's ten dollars. She's twelve dollars. That's a neat root beer. I see this reminds me of Jeffrey. You could go could cute in his little diner. $120. Oh, sorry, Jeffrey. Oh, snap. Oh, oh, what's this back here? You're a bird. I like you, bird. I'm gonna get you. $20 for the Royal Copley, girl. Yep, this one's marked Royal Copley, which you don't find that very often. $20. Normally, you just see the bottoms look like that. You don't normally see them marked Royal Copley. Hi, friends, and it's good to be back. So, I am back from my vacation. I am pumped and ready to go, and I have a little bit of a haul video. Now, you had seen the shop with me. I wasn't able to go to all but a couple places, but that's okay because I still got some pretty good stuff. I still got it out of my system and I'm gonna show it to you now. So we went to this little antique mall that was just kind of uh, about a couple miles or so from where we stayed and I got some really good stuff. Um, I the, the music was kind of loud, so I didn't get a lot of footage of me shopping, but I got some. So now let me show you some of the things that I got. This was part of the video. It is made in Japan. It's this cute little planter of a bird. And you had seen that in the shop along video. Now, at first I thought when I saw its legs on the shelf, I thought, oh, that's a flamingo. But I kind of don't think that it is. I don't know. But it's cute and it's in really good condition. I like kind of the peachy color on its wings. The flower doesn't have any flaws on it. It is made in Japan. And I don't know, I just really like this. It's just a little planter. So this is something that will be available in a live sale. And then I also found this other bird. This bird is odd because, well, it's kind of heavy. And, well, let me just show it to you. Let's show them the bird, Misty. Quit talking about it and just show it to them. So it's kind of a duck pheasant. I don't know, quite know what kind of bird that it is. But the weird part about it was that it someone has taken a bunch of gravel 
and shoved it in the hole of this duck to weigh it down. So unfortunately, it makes it a little bit heavier for me to ship it, but I think it was just a couple dollars and I can't leave, I can't leave the duck behind. He's just, he's just cool. So he'll also be available. I mean, he's not like cement brick heavy, but he did add a little bit of weight to him. All right. Oh, I'm trying. I've divided this stuff from Goodwill and the Antique Mall and I've kind of lost track. But I'm, I'm, I'm on track again. All right. I got this planter. I believe that this is a hull, a green drip glaze planter. Um, this was, it was an interesting booth because the booth itself was full of trains. So the guy that had the booth loved trains and was a train collector. Probably went to auctions and, and bought boxes of train parts and components. And then all this other stuff was kind of thrown in and he didn't really care about this other stuff. So he had things marked for like a dollar, two dollars. So I got this for a couple dollars. It's in excellent condition. It is art marked USA. Now I think that it might be haul. I don't know for sure. I did just recently get a new haul pottery book. So I'm going to look it up and see if it is in there, but it's in excellent condition. It's a beautiful emerald green color. And so that will be available during a sale, live sale as well. Uh, I did get some shakers. I got, <laughs> now, I think that if you've watched my videos long enough, you know that I like weird and quirky and odd and strange things. And these just spoke to me. Now, I, they're not like ancient old. They are vintage, but they're squirrels and they got googlies. Look at their eyes. They got googly, they're googly squirrel salt and pepper shakers. Aren't they fun? Now this one has the cork floating around there. They do have plastic corks, but look, it's a googly eyed squirrel. It's not something that you see every day. So I got these, they kind of look like they're praying. Do they look like they're praying? They're praying for nuts for the winter time. So I got the squirrel shakers. They also, they came in a bag of the bunnies and the squirrels were sold together from that same booth that the guy I don't think cared about this kind of stuff, but no, we do. These are made in Brazil. Like I like to say, they're just cute little bunnies. Not as, not as fun as the squirrels, I have to say, but still very cute bunny shakers. So those will both be available during a live sale. These oh, are really cool. Now I did pay up for these. Thank you for the, leaving the price tag on this thing so I can actually see what I paid for it. I paid $5 for this set of shakers, but they are fun. They are from Hawaii. Aloha, Hawaii. They're made in Japan. Just a cute little souvenir piece. Oh man, I just love these. I mean, they're gonna be for sale, but I do like them. So they're in excellent condition as well. Also Hawaii, now some of the stuff, I, I was kind of lazy and didn't take the remnants of the price tags off, but these, let me look on the bottom real quick. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now I am going to consult my buddy, George at the Antique Nomad, because you know, he literally wrote the book on treasure craft and I got two treasure, treasure craft pieces. That was hard to say. But these are amazing. They are pineapple aloha treasure craft shakers on the little pedestal. They are marked the TC down there for treasure craft. Uh, but look at the base, it says Hawaii. On the underside, it says treasure craft USA. So I'm gonna consult with George just to see, are these like good, good? I mean, for treasure craft, I know that some treasure craft is better than others, but I think that they're fabulous myself. And so I'm going to, these will be available, not unless George wants them. If George wants them, then I may have to, you know, give them to George. This is the other piece. Now, because of George, I have begun a small collection of treasure craft. And I bought a little piece off of Jeffrey that was very similar to this. I believe it was an apple, and this one is a pineapple, and it's an ashtray. It's a fun little treasure craft ashtray, pineapple shaped ashtray with this really kind of cool drip glaze glossiness on the inside. This one is marked Treasure Craft Maui, Hawaii, 1963. The bottom of it is a little warm because you know it was 
set on the table and was probably used quite often, but it's in great condition. And man, I don't know why I'm just loving this stuff. Okay, so the next thing that I got is, well, I got a couple of air plant vessels and one of these I'm going to keep. I don't know if I'm gonna keep the other one or not, but I just, actually, I got that one at Goodwill. I'm gonna set that in the Goodwill pile, but this little vessel here, they're perfect for an air plant. Uh, I just like these little miniature urns, pictures. I like, like, it has like a green apple color to it. So I got that. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. We we shall see. All right. I also, from the, the train man, let's call him, that didn't really care about this stuff. This is a really beautiful ashtray here. Just a piece of green art glass. I mean, I'm going to say that it's an ashtray because it has the little divots, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a little nut bowl. But I think that it's great. It's pretty. Now, I am keeping this because I, this is another new little collection of mine. For my air plants are these crazy-eyed animals. And this is a crazy-eyed animal planter. Why does it have card, like numbers, one, two, three, and hearts? I don't know. We don't know. And it's just a crazy-looking polka-dotted cat. And I will put an air plant in there. I think that he's fun. I like his little polka dot bow tie. He's made in Japan. So I'm keeping him. He's going to be an air plant vessel for my home. I also got this for $3. And it's really pretty neat. And it is Cream La Rue French Process Facial Soap for shaving shampoo, toilet, and bath. It does it all does it all i like this vintage advertisements here's where it says for shaving shampoo toilet and bath perfection in toilet soap but these are great little accents to add to a bathroom shelf i'm not going to keep this one though this one will be available in a live sale very soon now this is a sad story i also got this from the train man and it has a piece of felt on the bottom now sometimes when you find these planters you'll see felt on the bottom that doesn't mean that that's the way they came so i typically will tear the felt away you can kind of tell i'll work on this because it is not original to oh there we go Ooh, it's not shawnee okay well this makes me even sadder because this was in the train booth and there was two of these and I paid $3 for the set. There was a little girl and her little friend, the little boy. Now I originally thought that these might be a Shawnee piece, but I pulled the felt away because I can tell that it was not originally on the planter. Someone had added it just to protect their, their piece of furniture. This is actually Royal Copley and it's marked Royal Copley. Now I was trying to feel underneath the felt for the telltale Royal Copley little lines that are on the bottom. But this is actually signed Royal Copley. Now, the story behind the little girl is when we were unpacking our stuff, we literally had things just shoved in. And when we went to these last couple places, we had lifted the hatch up and the little hatch window and we're sticking the bags instead of opening up the the hood or the, the back of the car because we had the kayak on there. And my husband forgot and opened it up and a bag fell out. And luckily only, we only had one piece of carnage and that was the partner to this little guy. So unfortunately that piece of signed Royal Copley and it was like broken beyond fixable because you know that I would try to glue it together and fix it. But this little guy will be available for sale, sadly without his little friend. All right, this piece I liked the graphic on it but I really really liked that it was in an advertisement for a funeral home because you know that's fun right so this is for the L R L Lockstone funeral homes Weatherford Thomas wherever that may be it doesn't say where it's from but look at isn't that a happy little little um scene for a funeral home I also like souvenir pieces and I liked this it just spoke to me i i think i paid maybe a couple of dollars for it but i think that it's lake wawasee which is a fun word to say lake wawasee in indiana and it's a little dutch girl she's wooden uh, like a little pot holder holder or it could be a key holder 
but it says Lake Wawasee, Indiana. I just liked it. I like the colors. I like that it's a souvenir piece. I like that it's from Indiana and that it's wood. And I liked her face. Because, you know, I look at the face of things. So, I got that. And then I got this fun piece. Now, this is missing a piece to it. Um, but I loved it. And I know that this will look cute in somebody's display. It's a little vintage baby toy. And so when this when this rolls, the little propellers swing and these little heads just kind of bobble around. Now it's missing the big mama head. It, it kind of resembles an airplane or a train, uh, maybe an airplane, I don't know. But it's missing this top piece. I don't care though, I mean, look at this. I love the faces on these things. Look at the face. Ooh, they're just chug chug chugging along. I like this. I think it'll be cute just sitting up on a shelf for a display. I, I just like this kind of stuff. Very much of a choking hazard for a child. So, but we all survived playing with toys like this. But today they would be a big no no. All right. I also picked up a couple, well, actually, Emma found these a couple of uh, postcards. These are vintage. They're not like antique or, or old, but this is a, the sign. And I liked this one because, you know, as a child going to Mackinac like we did every year, we always looked for, you know, we almost there, we almost there. So you'd always look for the signs. Now, when you were getting close to Mackinac, you'd always look for the top of the bridge. But I like this one just because it has the Mackinac Bridge sign and good old Highway 27. So I got that one to add to my collection. And then this one is just a little Mackinac Island postcard flip book. So there's the Grand Hotel, Arch Rock, just some of the different um, Sugarloaf Rock, some of the different sites on Mackinac Island. Uh, so I got that for my collection as well. There was also a postcard from the Sioux Locks. I did not buy that one because I do not like the Sioux Locks. Again, it's a very lovely place. Go if you if you would like to, but I hated it as a child and I didn't want to buy it, so I didn't. Okay, then I got these two sand art pieces and I don't know a lot about them. I need to, to research them a little bit more. They're just like native sand art pieces. Now, these are vintage. I, I don't think that they're, I think they're probably from the 80s, from the 90s. But they are, they kind of feel like sandpaper, I guess is the best way to describe it. But they are sand art of these like Inca um, figures. And I like the colors in them. And I actually have a couple other pieces. I've sold this stuff before. Um, there is a collector's market for it. Um, if you can get it for the right price, then, you know, give it a try. But I will sell these as a set probably, maybe on eBay. Because I think that's just, there's a more of a collector's market on a worldwide stage than those people that would just be watching my, my YouTube sales. All right, so the last thing that I got, no, well, okay. The, the last two things that I got from that antique mall are kind of my favorite things. I paid $3 each for these. They were in a case, so I thought, uh, I, I tend to steer away from cases. And I know that's not probably very logical because I've, I may be missing things like this. These were $3 a piece, which I gladly paid for a dog in a top hat planter. Yeah, look at his face. He's a jolly old dog in a little tuxedo with a little cane. And I got two of them. Two dogs with canes. They are made in Japan. So, I mean, do things like this make you happy? Because they do. Because Mark, Mark got into the case and he said, they're $3 a piece. And I said, oh, I want them. And he said, really? And I said, oh, yes, I do. So I may keep one of them to add to my weird face planter collection and then I'll sell the other one. All right. And then my favorite thing that I got at that antique mall are, oh, now I paid up for these. I paid $20 for the lot of vintage Valentine cards. So 
I did pay up because you know that I am cheap and I, I try to keep my price of goods as low as I can, but I could not resist these vintage Valentines. And I'll just show you a couple. They are the three dimensional kind. So there are two that are very similar like this. And then, oh my gosh. They're, I mean, they are so good. Look at that. Look at her little face holding that heart with the little honeycomb down there. These, I think I have three or four of these. These are amazing. They are, these are made by Bastille. There is the Bastille. My camera is not focusing to save its life. Now they do have a little stand that comes out to hold them together, but they're centerpieces. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I geeked out a little bit too. To my Valentine, with charm so sweet, I lay this offering at your feet. Look at Cupid's creepy little face. Aren't they great? Oh, so I got one, two, two of the, oh no, they're different. Here's another one. And then here is this one. These are all Bastille, these three. Aren't they amazing? This one is precious. This is Little Boy Blue. This one is a Hallmark card. Isn't he so cute? Look at his little face. He's got a little feather on top of his hat. And then here's another little honeycomb card. And then this one is really pretty. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is on the back, it's penciled in 1930. Love and best wishes, Pauline. This one's like, like several layers on it. To my Valentine. But I paid $20 for the lot of them. But I should be, I, I, I should be able to get eight to $10 a piece out of them. So I think that was a good, it was a good buy. I know I can make my money back. Well, I know I can make money on them. All right, so that's what I got from the antique mall that we went to. So I think I did pretty good. And then we stopped, we drove for another couple hours and then we stopped at a Goodwill. And let me just tell you that this Goodwill was, was the nicest, cleanest Goodwill I have ever been in. It was almost like a department store. So we were in there for a little, little bit. And this was the first thing that I found. I paid $1.49 for it for the little ballerina wall pocket. She very much has a Dresden Lace-esque tutu on. It's not Dresden Lace, it's very Dresden Lace-esque. But no, no chips or flaws on her. I got a couple of these plates. Now I used to buy state plates all the time and I've become very, very particular. I like the ones with that are colorful, that have a lot of color to them. And I like this one. This is from the 1964, 1965 New York World's Fair. So we got this one. I just, I liked the globe. I liked the color on it. It was made by Umpire Shear, made in Japan. But this was 99 cents. And it has the little hanger on it. And then this one as well was 99 cents. And this one's just New York City. Now, this was pre-World Trade Center. It has Rockefeller Center, the Empire State Building, Times Square, the Manhattan Skyline, without the, the, the Twin Towers. So it's pre-Twin Towers time. It does have Coney Island on there as well. So I got this one. It was also 99 cents. Made in Japan, it has the hanger on the back. Those will both be available on a live sale. And then I got a some butter pats. Now these, there are four of them. They were 99 cents each. Looking to see, there's no maker's mark on them. They're beautiful. They are all the same. These little butter, butter pats. I'm having a hard time speaking today. They're really pretty roses. There are no chips or, are they all the same? Okay, well, these two are the same. 
Again, they were 99 cents each. And then these two. Now they do have some crazing on them and some little a little discoloration, but they're very, very pretty. The colors are very similar, so you could use them all together. I probably, I don't know if I'll sell them as a set of four or as a, two sets of two. I'm not quite sure yet. And then this little guy, I'm keeping this guy. Now, when you see him, you're going to wonder, why are you keeping him? Because you hate clowns. Yes, I do ha hate clowns, but this clown, this is gonna be sound a little morbid, and I please don't take this the wrong way, but I have a very weird and twisted sense of humor, and he looks like a dead clown. I know, that's a horrible thing to say, but he does. He was 99 cents, and I'm going to keep him, and I'm going to put a succulent in his little head. See, he's probably a drunk clown probably let's say that sounds a little bit nicer uh he i am sure was a part of a set he probably hung from something but i think he looked cute as a little air plant head so i'm going to keep him and i also got again i don't know glassware this maybe is tiara wear i don't know but i i'm drawn to the color of it um it is this little trinket dish here um blue glass it isn't flash it is blue it is actually blue glass and for 99 cents i just couldn't leave it behind so maybe oh, you know what it's an ashtray yeah little little dainty cute little blue ashtray um i got some redware shakers now i did pay up for these i paid for well i paid for 99 although i didn't pay for 99 because red was half price. So these were not for and I paid 350 for these Redware salt and pepper shakers. They do both have the stoppers in them. They are not marked Japan, but I'm pretty certain that that's where they're from. Oh, you still have pepper in you. Um they're kind of a luster look. Have a luster look to them. So they're going to be available on a live sale. I got a a piece of linen, a linen dresser scarf. Uh, with these really pretty birds, bluebirds on each side, just a long dresser scarf on a piece of linen, and it was 99 cents. So that will be available at a live sale. Um, and I got these. Now, I, the, I, I'll probably put these up on eBay if they're worth anything. And if they're not worth anything, I'm just going to keep them. But I, I, I have some Rada or Rada knives cutlery that I love. So these were brand new in the package. This is an ice cream scoop for 99 cents. But see, that's a, that's a heavy duty ice cream scoop. So if they're not worth anything, I'm just gonna keep them. But if I can list them on eBay, then I will. And this was the uh, serrated pie server. Well, let me show you what it is. Also 99 cents. So, I mean, if all else fails, I'll just keep them. But brand new, never been opened. So there might be some resale value there. I, I don't know. I haven't looked them up yet. So we'll see. Now these I did look up in the store. I paid, they were $1.49, but they were half price. They are made by Crate and Barrel. And they are these little martini picks. So you put your olives and stuff on these picks. They, they've never been used. They are from Crate and Barrel. And on the back it says olive picks. They're made of glass. So I did look them up and they were selling for about 12 to $15. So I thought for, you know, paying a dollar for them, it was definitely going to be worth my time. They're easy to list, they're easy to ship. So I got them. And then I got this. Now I'm still perplexed with this. I did pay up for it. I'm, I, I have to figure this out because this is a heavy duty mixer, a hand mixer. It is made by Besto. And it is this Flint Arrowhead. Now, I did a quick search while I was in the store because it was $3.49. And that's that's pushing it for me for these things. Because I know what I can get out of most of them. It's usually $10 to $12. But this Arrowhead version, there was one that sold for $45. So I don't know if that's this kind. But I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and try it. Very nice. I mean, honestly, if it's not worth my, I may actually keep this because I love the color. And if you're making scrambled eggs, you don't have to get your blender out, or your mixer. You just mix it with this. So if it's not worth much, I'm probably just going to keep it because 
It's my color and I like it a lot. And then the last thing that I picked up is a super cute Florida um, souvenir piece. I don't know if it had something, maybe it had other pieces with it, but it has this weird little knob there on the side, but it's Florida, it has a flamingo, and on the inside, it is a measuring cup. So it may have had, I don't know that it had other measuring cups because on the inside though, it has different measurements. So I don't, I don't know, but it was 99 cents. So I found this really kind of as I was leaving, but I like souvenir pieces and I know that things with flamingos do pretty well. So that, that's what I got when I was on vacation. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. It was great to be on vacation, but it's so good to be back and being able to freely go sourcing and just organizing, just being here with all my stuff, all of my old stuff. I like that feeling. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to like, share, comment, and make sure that you're subscribed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.